Hello tea friends, welcome back to the Mad Hatter Tea Review. This afternoon we are going to be brewing the strawberries and cream from David's Tea. The tea has oolong tea, apple hibiscus milky oolong, natural strawberry cream flavoring, strawberry quinoa, and stevia extract. I have the water boiled at 195 Fahrenheit and I am going to steep this for about, I think it says three to four minutes. I will confirm that shortly. And the steeping recommendation is four to five minutes. So I will be right back as my tea begins to steep. And we are back. So I brewed it in a tea bag in my Jack mug here. Now I wanna make a note real quick of the dry leaf. It smells like a strawberries and cream lifesaver that used to exist back in the day. That's what it makes me think of just smelling the dry leaf. And I could just smell the dry leaf all day. <sighs> anyway, so here's the cup. Oh, yeah. You can smell that milk oolong. You can smell the strawberry to base. So on the front of the mouth, you get the strawberry tartness, but as it settles, you get kind of this creamy note. You can heavily taste that oolong base. Now I know there's already stevia in this, but I think this would be a good tea to add a little bit more sweetener, maybe a honey or agave nectar or date nectar. But for me, it's perfect. I think this would be something that my wife would enjoy, but she would need to add a little sweetener. It's pretty, pretty good. If I had to give it an honest rating, six and a half, seven tea bags. Um, I haven't tried this one iced yet, but I probably should. I'd imagine it being really good iced, but hot, yeah, it does the job. I've been drinking this one quite often. I realized I didn't review it and uh, here we are. So it's pretty nice. I'd share this with friends. I'd continue drinking it and will continue drinking it. But until then, feel free to drop a comment, a like, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Until then, happy sipping.